action. <laughs> I love the crimes and other people. I'm Icy. I'm Ivy. And welcome to our booktube, booktube channel. And today we'll show you our book haul from the library. This is my stash. Oh. And this is mine. I think there's 13 books. Book number one. One of Us is Lying by Garen McManus. I actually don't know what it's about. Okay, I've actually read it and it's about four students. Was, was it five of them? Yeah, it's five of them who were in detention. And then one of them died during detention. And then the four students who were left were accused of killing the other student that died. I want to read it because it's been showing up on the Goodreads must read. And everyone's been reading it. And I hope it lives up to the hype. Does it live up to the hype? Uh, uh, <laughs> I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. It was wrapped up nicely. So maybe we'll talk about that in another video. Let's see how it go. The two books I borrowed. Wait, it's not focused. Okay. <laughs> the two books I borrowed is by Rick Riordan. Book number 2.5 of the Hero <laughs> Book number 2.5 in the Heroes of Olympus series. And this is Magnus Chase, The God's Sword of Summer by Rick Riordan. Yes, I haven't read it yet. Because the books aren't always available in the library. Because of the children. True. Can't really catch up with Rick Riordan because he releases like how so many, many books so a year? So many books, so many series. There you go. Book number two is Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. So I don't really, I really don't know what this book is about. It's always been in my TBR. I put it in my TBR a long time ago. Let's read the plot. Nemesis is a diabolic created to protect a galactic senator's daughter, Sidonia. The girl who has grown up by her side and is as much a sister as a master. There is no one Nemesis wouldn't kill to keep her safe. But when the power man Emperor summons Sidonia to the galactic court as a hostage, there is only one way for Nemesis to protect Sidonia. She must become her. There. Sounds very interesting. Has a lot of 4 or 5 stars ratings on Goodreads. So I will read. I will, will read this. My third book for my haul is... The Inexplicable Logic of My Life by Benjamin Alray Sainz. It's about Sal. Sal has always been certain of his place with adopted gay father and their loving Mexican-American family, but now his own history unexpectedly haunts him, haunts him and life-altering events force him and his best friend Samantha to confront issues of faith. So it's about Sal. And yes. Sam. <laughs> and issues with faith. <laughs> I didn't really enjoy his first book. Uh, Which was his first book? The Aristotle and Dante. Oh. Oh. Aristotle and Dante something something. It was okay. It was I, cute. I wasn't really into it. But I heard so much good stuff about this. So it was cute. Book number three for me is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Brackett. Mainly because Christine Paul and Bananas books. Christine May blogged about it. I really don't know what it's about. When Ruby woke up on her 10th birthday, something about her had changed. Something alarming enough to make her parents lock her in the garage and call the police. Something that got her sent to Thurman, a brutal government rehabilitation camp. She might have survived the mysterious disease that killed most of America's children. Everything happens in America. But she and the others emerged with something far worse. Frightening abilities they cannot control. Kind of like X-Men. One of my friends said it's not really good, but I'll give it a go because of Christine. <laughs> yeah. This has been on my TBR for a bit. <coughs> the fourth book for me is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. This is the first book. I've heard that her first series wasn't her best writing style, but I'll give it a go. This is my second time reading Sarah J. Mass book. I've read The Court of Florence and Roses, a guitar. And her writing style was okay. It was captivating, but the storyline was... Uh, maybe we'll talk about it in another video. Throne of Glass. That's my Jane. One of my TV art <laughs> Book number four. An art by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spear. Amy! Amy! <laughs> 
I like the what series was that? Illuminate. So I like the I like Starbound. Yeah. I like the Starbound series by these two two women. And I like the Illuminate files by Amy Kaufman and J. Christoph. So I wanted to give this a try. I really don't know what it's about, but because it has Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner's name. Amy Kaufman. I got it. When Earth intercepts a message from a long extinct alien race, it seems like the solution humanity has been waiting for. The undying message leads to the planet Gaia, a treasure trove waiting to be explored. So why, why a cannot wait? All about space. Cannot wait. I want to read that to you. My fifth book is Truth Witch. Truth Witch. Sandwich. <laughs> this is normal. Truth Witch. <laughs> Truth Witch. Truth Witch by Susan Denner. It's the first book of the series and I don't know what it's about. But you know, I've heard so much good things about it. So it's about young witches. Sophia and Isu. Isu? Iswelt. <laughs> I-S-E-U-L-T. Have a habit of finding trouble. <laughs> but yeah, it's about witches. I think it has three books in the series. I can't wait to dive into this. <laughs> Five and six. Five and six. I really liked Scythe and Thunderhead. And I found that Neil Shusterman's books on Goodreads have really good ratings, like four out of five and five, even five out of five. And my mind was completely blown with Scythe and Thunderhead, so I borrowed these. A good friend of mine said that the plot is really mind blowing. I wouldn't be surprised, so. Cannot wait. Oh, wait, wait, I don't even know what this is about. I'm, I'm not sure which one's the first book. I think. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe Unwind? What's <laughs> happening? I think I will do this. <laughs> Unwind, unwind. Are you sure? Yes, see, see, it says here. Unwind. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> unwind. It says here, in a society where unwanted things are salvaged for their body parts, three runaways fight the system that would unwind them. Ooh, unwind. Unwind. Brought together by chance and kept together by desperation, these unlikely companions make a harrowing cross country journey, knowing their lives hang in the balance. If they can survive until the 18th birthday, they can't be harmed. <laughs> but when every piece of them from their hands to their hearts is wanted by a world gone mad, 18 seems far, far away. Mm. My sixth book, Sarah Six. Hall, Hall, is Far From the Tree, Tree. by Robin Benway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what this is about. Is about. <laughs> no. I think we'll just keep borrowing from the library and don't know what they're about. That's right! But anyway, I saw an article by Epic Reads, a full list of mystery. <laughs> and I saw this one, and it had good ratings, so... When 16-year-old Grace gives up her baby for adoption, she decides it's time to find out more about her biological mother. And in doing so, she discovers two siblings she never knew existed. There's Maya, her loudmouth younger sister, who's quick to search for traces of herself among these not quite strangers. And her adopted family's problem began to surface. Maya can't help but wonder where it is. <laughs> and Joaquin. 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 Where the Joaquin? Jo Joaquin. Joaquin. Joaquin up. <laughs> and Joaquin, their stoic older brother. After 17 years in foster care. <laughs> Serious. He's learned that secrets and fears are best kept close to his chest. Chess. <laughs> Where they can't hurt anyone but him. So yeah, it's about family. Can I need to go over. Yeah, oh, it's so pretty. that's why it's called Far From The Tree. Yeah. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. That's why there's leaves. I actually read this already. If I could, I, I would make a book talk about Thunderhead and Scythe. <laughs> I won't say anything about this book because it's too beautiful. Have I read it yet? 
The thunder head cannot interfere in the affairs of the scythe dog. All it can do is observe. It you does not do. like what it sees. So like I said earlier, I loved scythe and thunder head. Which is the reason why I borrowed Unwind and Unholer. <laughs> I've actually read this. I gave it a 5 out of 5. And I don't wanna get into it because I will take up the whole memory card of this camera. 7th book I borrowed is Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. I've read Matthew Quick's book and I wonder why they're so underrated. No one else is so hyped about them and they're so good. Why? Actually, this is my second time borrowing this book. Oh, oh my god. It feels like I'm gonna cry. Goodbye. I'm gonna cry. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm gonna cry. So this is my last book from the haul. And my current read, Children of Blood and Bone, Tommy Adeyemi. It's about magic. And the royals trying to abolish magic by killing people who have magic. It's alright. It's an okay book. How far are you? Page 301 of 520. And it's a thick book. It's thick book me. 527. It's okay, but I don't think I'll be reading the next books. It feels like I've read it before. Everything's so familiar. okay book it's not that bad that I would be an F it I still read it it lacks twists I don't know there might be twists in page 300 301 but so far it's a bit nothing out of the ordinary I guess for my eighth book Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty this is another book that I've seen in the epic reads article is that YA? It's actually adult fiction. So it's something different, I suppose, from what we read. Because we mostly read young adult. It's a large print version. But she's I blind. <laughs> Look at the font. It's huge. <laughs> Look at the font. It's like... Oh my gosh. It's like size 22. I word. can read this in one you, sitting. You can read it from the other house. Let's see. Large print. It's made for people like me. Oh. So it's about Madeline remembers everything and forgives no one. Her ex-husband and his yogi wife have moved into her beachside community and their daughter is in the same kindergarten class as Madeline's youngest. Now that Celeste's twin boys are starting school, she and her husband set to become the king and queen the parent body, but royalty comes at a price, and Celeste is gra grappling with how much she is willing to pay. Young single mom Jane is sad beyond her years and harbors secret doubts about her son, while Madeline and Celeste soon take Jane under their wing. None of them realizes how the arrival of Jane and her inscrutable little boy will affect them. Big little eyes. I we don't own that bird. Oh yeah. <laughs> Australia, guys. Australia. So yeah, I hope big little eyes, big form, big print. I hope this is going to be as good as what the the reviews say. <laughs> oh, it's my turn still. She's finished her books. I'm out. My book is Burial Rats by Hannah Kent. It's another adult fiction. It's also a mystery thriller. It's taken place in Northern Iceland in 1829. Mm. <gasps> based on a true story. And the last <laughs> set of series I borrowed is Red Rising Saga by Pierce Brown. So it's Red Rising, <laughs> Golden Sun, Morning Star. I've heard so many good things about this. It has like more than four star ratings on Goodreads. And I've heard that Piero Ford and Cass from Little Book Out love oh. this. Can't wait to try it. Me too. Me too. <laughs> What's this about? Some people on Mars, something like that. It's also an adult fiction, so. Ooh. It's not young adult? No. <gasps> Look at the colors. Look at the colors. 
<laughs> and finally, my last book of the book haul is Sight by Neil Shusterman. This is also my current read, and I'm currently chapter 29, page 326 out of 440. I hope to finish this by a few days from now, so we can talk about it. I have to finish this first. Oh, so I can read this one. It's very unique. He a genius. He a genius. Very good. That's it for you guys today. This is our library haul because we are too cheap to buy books. Too poor. We borrow books from the library because we are cheap. Poor! And poor. Very poor. We apologize that this video is kind of messy because it's our first video. It's our first time. And we feel awkward. And there's no structure at all. Yeah. And we don't know what the books are about. We just borrow them. We don't know what <laughs> we're doing. But we have makeup on. <laughs> If you have any suggestions on what book we can read next, just comment down below. Oh, we have fans! Whoa. So what are you guys reading today? Have you read any of the books? Hit us up in the comments below and our social medias can be found in the links below if you find this interesting. And if you have any suggestions on what content we should put up next, comment down below because we're like, what are we going to do? What are we doing? No. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> then, no. <laughs> like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you next time.